there was something flipping in the netting. So I walked over and realized it was a chippy. So tiny of a creature. He was wrapped up, just not just his neck, but his legs and his tail. We need to save him. This isn't fair to an animal. So we jumped into action. Unfortunately, he was so wrapped up with my fingers, I couldn't get that apart from him. So I ran to my backyard, asked for my husband, Aaron, kind of to come up and help. Between the two of us, we were very determined to save him. As he kind of ran up, he grabbed some tools from our garage, which was a box cutter, which we ended up not using because that was pretty dangerous. I could only find that one pair of scissors, my dollar store pair of scissors. We were trying the best to kind of unwrap the netting around him and trying to clip at it. And it was hard just to clip at things that were around his neck. So it took us a lot longer and he was fighting for a little bit with his claws. And we were both kind of trying to be safe and not hurt him. In kind of New Hampshire, chipmunks are pretty abundant and we love them. Um, I grew up with my family members feeding them by hand sometimes. So they're pretty friendly and I couldn't stand thinking that we just left something to suffer. Almost there. Gotta move that arm, bud. Luckily, he did survive the whole ordeal. Every little creature deserves to survive, so we should all stop and do whatever we can.